Very soon, we will have 40% of our population becoming graduates. We are at about 27%. Push it up to 40% within the next few years. Now, people don't want to become graduates just for the sake of becoming graduates. Once they become graduates, they want jobs that they think uh, are suitable for graduates and an income and a progressive structure in terms of where they move. Now, imagine a society where 40% go to university, another 35 40% go to polytechnic. That's 80, 75, 80% of your population. Which economy in the world can provide 75, 80% of its population with high quality jobs? Because you know your system, your organization, every system, whether in the public service or private sector, is pyramidical. There's one CEO. Next level, there are a few more. Next level, a few more. And the base is, of course, the largest. How do you get a system where 80 85% expect to be middle management and above? Think about 40% graduates and another 40% diplomas, meaning polytechnic, 80%. If you want, we want to push up our professional manager, managerial, executive, and technical uh, sector. Today, it is one to one. We want to push it up to two to one, basically two thirds of our population to be PMETs, high value jobs. Think of, I told you just now, think of any, any organization. You know what Singaporeans are like, right? I mean, hard charging, ambitious, rightly so, means that they're not going to go for an entry level job and stay on in an entry level job for the next five years. They want to move up. Now, if 80% of your population is highly educated and all want to move up, who is going to work for them? How are you going to sustain an economy without foreign workers? It's as simple as that. Ask yourself that question. If everyone is a manager, who is a worker? So when we rail against foreign workers, ask what jobs are your children going to do? Do they want to be managers? Do they want to be PMETs? Do they want to hold high-value jobs? Who is going to take instructions from them? Not Singaporeans, because 80% will have degrees and diplomas. You need somebody, right? Unless our entire population changes its approach, and we are prepared to say, it doesn't matter if I have a degree or a high-value diploma, I am prepared to be the ground-level worker. First of all, do you think that is possible? Second, do you think it's fair? Or is it better that we think of an economy where the Singaporeans move up in the economy, high value jobs in various sectors that we identify, and then have people working for them, which means bringing in people to work for them.